personal needs. These are various type of needs. When the person is deprived of this, because of these needs, they are not satisfied. Then he is frustrated and he is prone to be recruited to a particular group of ideological movement. Now what has happened is that earlier when we were talking about economic needs, power needs, social needs and implementation, that was a different type of idea. Now when we are talking about certain cultural identity needs, self-actualization needs, a different type of ideology is taking advantage of their idea. Religion and communalism is taking advantage of these type of intellectualization identity needs. So, to hide that thing, we have to emphasize other needs which are very responsible. In Gujarat or any other country where there is this type of fundamentalism, they, they talk about their culture, their past history, they don't tell about poverty. They don't tell about sanitation of the needs of the people as such. They don't tell about the quality of life or the need of it. We have to emphasize that aspect. That humanism stands for the rule of power, bringing up the quality of life. And if we come out of this type of demand and emphasizing that, then, then we can counter this type of forces. That is what I would like to submit. Thank you. Thank you. I have been working with a less than human student for the last 25 years. I have attended so many classes. We have been discussing about the powers of fundamentalism and how to tackle it. But we are missing so many ideas. Because basically, we have to know the nature of religion and the nature of science. Without knowing the nature of religion, we cannot find fundamentalism. Some of our friends interpreted religion. There are so many good things in religion and we have to obey those things. Basically, man has created God and man has created religion for his welfare and the welfare of the society. But today's problem is man has become the slave of his own creation. That is the crisis of the problem of today, today's problem. So to come out of this problem, we have to know the basic points about how religion and how religion is exploiting for the last decades and centuries and they are exploiting and today religion has come to the state that now it is dictating terms to the state, all political parties, there is no central use and no central use. When the power is held and they want to keep the power for the purpose of power, they will leave the goods, good catching status which they are having and in, the, in that way they are supporting and encouraging and protecting the religious fundamentals. So, number one is that religion thrives because of morality in my opinion. Thank you.
to say this flag of atheism which is flung high is appealing to the toiling peasant who is cursed with religious rituals. But, but it is asking those who are being deceived by deceitful swamis to chase them away and to defeat caste, to promote humanity and to liberate ourselves from the slavery that religion brought us into and to take science forward and to promote truth and equality and asking people to listen to the wisdom of the Lokayatas and the Charvakas and proposing that we have to listen to science which explains to us that matter is the basis of the universe and that this flag salutes the scientists who are taking humanity forward. I now invite the cultural wing of the newly formed Mana of Vikasa Vedika, Human Development Court.
I can hear my thanks for the invitation for the state media to this gathering. And sometimes I'm going to only my area the rights who participate in this summer. Two of us were invited, but statistics where Shabarimala Idol is in store. And I am very near to the palace where Ayyappa is supposed to have incarnated. And one of his stories that I say, because uh, Ayyappa has so many fathers, by uh, not by that which, uh, uh, but the palace, uh, there, there are so many fathers who uh, bring the weapons, I don't know, the ornaments that were today on Ayyappa's idols. One of them was my friend who was a uh, secondary school principal. So when we were in meditation, there is this uh, my friend.